Bowser Jr., the son of Bowser and the heir to his throne. He debuted in Super Mario Sunshine and has since helped his father to kidnap Princess Peach and battle Mario and Luigi in many subsequent games. But the question a lot of people have is, who's the mother? Some say Princess Peach, but I think that's not the case. I think there wasn't a mother at all. We first saw Bowser Jr. in Super Mario Sunshine. In it, he uses a magic paintbrush and a special handkerchief to transform in the translucent blue doubleganger of Mario, Shadow Mario. He vandalizes Isle Delfino, tricking the native people into believing that Mario himself is to blame. He does this to Mario because Bowser tells him that Princess Peach is his mother and that Mario has kidnapped her. But Bowser Jr. kidnaps her himself and is eventually defeated along with Bowser. He realized that Princess Peach isn't his mother before Bowser decided to tell him, but he still refers to Peach's mama sometimes in later games. Now even Nintendo confirmed that Bowser Jr. is Bowser's real son, unlike the Koopalings who were adopted. But who's the mother then? Well, Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of the Mario series, said the following about it in an interview with Game Informer. They asked the following question. In Super Mario Bros. 3, the Koopalings were supposed to be Bowser's children. But there's also Bowser Jr. Are they all his kids and are they all from different mothers? And is Bowser Jr. a Koopaling? And Miyamoto said the following. Our current story is, is that the seven Koopalings are not Bowser's children. His only child is Bowser Jr. And we don't know who the mother is. So even Nintendo doesn't tell us who the mother is. And there are quite a lot of theories around this floating on the internet. So let's briefly take a look at some of the more common options before diving into mine. What about Princess Peach? Could it be that Princess Peach is the mother of Bowser Jr, even though it was a lie of Bowser? No way, it's impossible. And if you know any biology, then you will agree with me. Since that's not how it works. If Peach was the mother, then it should have ended up becoming some sort of combination between Bowser and Peach herself. But this also depends if they can even procreate. It's just a mess, let's keep it on that. And another possible mother has never been seen in the series. So there isn't really a lot going for this option. Now besides Peach, there's also another option which doesn't involve a mother, but this one also has a problem with it. Asexual reproduction, which is reproduction without sex. In this form of reproduction, a single organism or cell makes a copy of itself. The genes of the original and its copy will be the same, except for rare mutations, but they usually end up like clones. So this would mean that Bowser some sort of copied himself and the outcome was Bowser Jr, his son. This would also explain why Bowser Jr and Bowser himself look so similar. Just compare baby Bowser and Bowser Jr, you will see what I mean. They look identical to each other, the hair, face, body, everything. But there's one problem with this. Why did he adopt the Koopalings then? Why didn't he perform the same trick to create his other children? Why only for Bowser Jr? Well, that's because asexual reproduction is a close one, but not completely the answer, I think. Now here's my answer to all of this. You have seen this countless of times in sci-fi movies, cloning. This is the process of making a genetically identical organism through non-sexual means. So essentially a copy. It has been used for many years to reproduce plants. Even growing a plant from a cutting is a type of cloning. In real life, animal cloning has been subject of scientific experiments for years but got little attention until the birth of the first cloned mammal in 1996, a sheep named Dolly. Since Dolly, several scientists have cloned other animals, including cows and mice. The recent successes in cloning animals has sparked fierce debates among scientists, politicians and the general public about the use and morality of cloning plants, animals and possibly humans. So it's certainly possible, maybe a bit unethical, but that's not important for this video since Bowser's morals are pretty dead anyway. He kidnapped Peach countless of times and then plays tennis with them. Does it make sense? No. But who cares, it's Mario. Anyways, back to the topic. Could Bowser have cloned himself and make a new version of him so that he would have an heir for the throne? It would make sense, since this explains why he adopted children and why he and his son look identical. Cloning in terms of results is similar to asexual reproduction, since it's copying the same cells, so that would explain why they look alike. But it's also complicated and an overall expensive process. 
So that would explain why I also adopted children, since that's way easier and cheaper. Now the question is, would Bowser be able to clone himself? Would he or his minions know how to do that? Well the first thing we need to look at is, does Bowser have the right technology to get it done? Does he have the right knowledge? Well we have seen in multiple games that Bowser has some pretty advanced technology, for example in Super Mario Sunshine, where we see Mecha Bowser, a large mechanical incarnation of Bowser which has a flamethrower in its mouth. Or in Super Mario Galaxy where they go into space and Bowser almost creates a sun, a freaking sun. So in terms of technology there's no problem at all. But who could have cloned Bowser then? Who came up with the idea? One of his minions or someone else? Well there are two different options for this. First up, Professor Elvin Gadd. This man has created countless of marvelous machines that sometimes help out Mario, but not always. Inventions like the Hydro Gush 4000. A large water pump used in Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. It's not portable like Flute, but it does have a lot of power. Or the Magic Paintbrush. This one is used by Bowser Jr as Shadow Mario in Super Mario Sunshine. It's a large paintbrush with the ability to paint various colors. Though this magic paint can change the landscape, create portals and create obstacles or enemies. It's unclear why the brush was made, as well as why it was given to Bowser Jr. So as you can see an example of his inventions used for good and also one where it's used for evil. Maybe Professor Egad found out how to clone and Bowser Store got the idea from him and used it to create his offspring. But this has never been mentioned in the game, so this is just an option. The other option that I have is in my opinion more likely and would actually explain a lot. The Shroobs. It was revealed during Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story that Bowser froze several shrooms and preserved them. But why would he do such a thing? Why would he store these creatures in his freezer? Well, they possess very advanced technology such as ray guns and a fleet of flying saucers. So their technology is extremely advanced and they are also extremely smart. Maybe Bowser captured them to get information and make his own technology better. And he eventually ended up learning how to clone himself and used this method to create Bowser Jr. But would this work out in terms of the Mario timeline? Well, yes. The Shroobs conquered the Mushroom Kingdom of the past. In this time period, Bowser was a baby. And the same goes for Mario, Luigi and Peach. And these Shroobs have been in Bowser's freezer for an unknown period of time. So he could have captured them very early on. So this doesn't mess with the timeline at all. But it could also be one of Bowser's minions who came up with it. Well at least now we know the possible origin of Bowser Jr, the only real son of Bowser and heir to the throne. Alright everybody, thanks for watching, if you want to watch more click that video on the screen right now or click that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any videos. Ha! Psych! You need to click that little bell next to the subscribe button when you subscribe because YouTube fucks you over.